if if two concentric circles are of radii 5 cm and 3 cm then the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle is dash and the options are 6 cm 7 cm 10 cm and the last option here is 8 cm so interesting one here right we have got two concentric circles now what do you mean by two concentric circles their centers are same for two circles the centers are same and the radii are 5 cm and 3 cm so let's understand the figure first this is a larger circle it has got a center here and there's another circle right a smaller one within the larger circle are you able to follow well it doesn't look like proper circles there but i'm sure you're able to follow the diagram right so two concentric circles understand concentric circle means circles with common center right they've got the common center the radii are 3 cm and 5 cm so obviously for the inner circle the radius is 3 and for the outer one the radius is 5 now the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle now an interesting point about such a case is that the chords of larger circle will become the tangents of the smaller circle you can draw any number of chords i mean you can draw many chords for the larger circle and all those will become the tangents for the smaller ones for example let's say if i draw a tan uh, chord like this in the larger circle ab is the chord let's say ab is the chord of the larger circle but if you observe it touches the smaller circle only at one point let's say this point is p it becomes a tangent for the smaller one right and he's asking us to find out the length of the chord so what will be the length of this chord are you able to follow now let's understand see this radius here is uh, 3 centimeters smaller one this is 3 centimeters and for the larger one it is 5 so let's let's connect with a here let's say this is the center so the larger one here is 5 centimeters done right angle triangle you observe that this is the center of the circle right O. a p o makes a right angle triangle in a right angle triangle pythagoras theorem is applicable right i know that this angle is 90 degrees don't ask me how we very well know that uh, the radius makes an angle of 90 degrees at the point of contact with the tangent. The angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degrees at the point of contact. So this is the point of contact. Forget about the chord and all that. Only look at smaller circle. For the smaller circle, this is the tangent and here is the radius. We know that it makes an angle of 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees, right angle triangle. So from that, can I find out AP? Yes or no? In triangle APO, this is A. P and O. What is this? 3. This is 5. Find out this value. Without applying Pythagoras theorem, you can say that it is 4 because the uh, smallest triplet for uh, which satisfies Pythagoras theorem is 3, 4, 5. This is 3, 4 and 5. Or otherwise, we can say 5 square equals to AP square plus 3 square. So from this AP square will be equal to 25 minus 9, 16 or AP will be equal to 4. So I know that this is 4 centimeters. If this is 4, this also will be 4. Remember, there's an important property here. Of course, we didn't discuss it in the introduction part, but the point here is, you know, this point of contact bisects this chord. In such a case, the point of contact of the chord or the point of contact of the chord with the smaller circle actually bisects the chord. Bisects the chord for the larger circle. All right. Or otherwise, go by the concept that we have learned. I mean, we have not taken it this day, but we know that, you know, from the center, when you drop a perpendicular, Forget about the smaller circle now. Forget about smaller circle. Only look at the larger circle. So there is a larger circle and there is a chord. We know that from the center when I drop a perpendicular on the chord, it bisects. Bisects means what? If this is 4, this also will be 4. It divides into 2 equal halves. So I can say the length of the chord AB will be equal to 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters, which is 8 centimeters. Option D is the correct answer. All right. So that was the question on concentric circles circles which have got a common center right so the point to be noted here is the larger the chords of larger circle will become the tangents of smaller circle and i'm sure once you have solved one example of this form you'll be able to answer the similar questions very quickly right you need not even draw the diagrams if you ask me right you know one is five the other is three so it has to be four two times four eight is the answer less than five seconds you'll be able to mark the answer for such questions so that's all from this topic of circles Remember, it is a game of practice. The more you practice, the easier it gets. Just make sure that you learn all the theorem, the concepts, uh, the properties of circles and whatever formulae we have uh, perfectly so that you can arrive at the answer without any difficulty, right? And the more you practice, the easier it gets. So keep practicing. Thank you.